Hi guys, welcome to the third part of this tutorial where we will animate the back body of the spider. Alright, so get ready and let's begin. So we will just select, I have the big, the, the, the first backbone that moves everything and then I have the second one which just moves the last part. You know, the skinning is wonky but again it doesn't matter. So we will just move these, we'll start from the top, we need to move it back and forth. Or no, but not back and forth, left and right. Right, and we want it to be following behind. So when the body moves to the right here, we want the back body to turn to the left. Like it's a kind of dragging behind. Alright, <clears throat> so we will just Set a keyframe at frame 0, where everything is straight. Set a keyframe at frame 30, where everything is straight. Again, and 60, where everything is straight. That is fine. Because, you know, when you're doing movement back and forth and left and right, at the end, things will straighten up. And then, in the trans transition from left to right, that is where the turning is happening. So we go in here, frame 15, and we will just rotate it back a little. Do the same on 45, the other way. And I'm kind of rotating in, in uh, increments here, just to, so I can get it precise on both sides. But you don't need to, to have it precise. It's actually better if you don't have it precise, just to put in that extra dynamic right so let's see what we have see it's it's lagging behind we have that weird problem again with the curve we will fix that uh, in a minute let's just animate the back the the, the, the the last bone in the same way so set keyframes uh, on these three and then go to 15 and then this needs to lag even further back. So we will rotate it even more. So what happens? You see, we can always scale the curve down and offset it to, to, to make it look awesome. Right, that is the last thing we will do. Right now I just need to get it working right here. So let's see from the side. It's a lot of movement, but... That's fine to begin with. I think I want some up and down movement too. And we also need to, I think I've completely forgotten that, we need to animate in the in the local space here so when i rotate on the x on the y rotation y it, it does it locally right we should have done that on the phase two but i mean it worked out fine all right so we need to to uh, animate it up and down right so where it's straight, 0, 30, 60, set keys, we already have keys, so go to 15, where you can see the body goes down, which means I want the back body to go up, opposite, right, so just up one bit, set a keyframe, and then over here the body goes down, so I want the body to go up. Yeah, this looks weird. Let's try and exaggerate it a little. Exaggerate it a little. Um, a little more so we can see what's going on. This looks super wonky from the side view. Even from the top, still looks good. 
let's try and move it down instead. Yeah, this looks this looks better to me. Right, then we can go in, move everything up so it doesn't intersect with the ground. Let's just go and do that. So we get the rotation. You see one is one is going further down than the other, it doesn't matter. So this is the up and down curve. The X is the up and down. So select everything, grab and Y, and move, move it up so it doesn't intersect. And let's go in and smooth out that uh, rotation curve. See, there it is, the center. Don't like this, and there it is again. Put it into vector. It's lagging. Why is it lagging? But it, it's smooth. Need to do the same for the back. With the furthest back. Find the center curve. Vector. See, it's getting smooth now. But it's too much. It's too much back body motion. Let's fix it. Let's scale scale it down. Let's see S for scale and Y. Let's see what is this one? That is the Side, side to side. Yeah. Go to top view. Just scale it down a little. And take this one. Select all the keys, scale it down. I see we, st we still don't have the offset on the, the furthest back bone here. We need to, Jesus Christ, I'm bad at explaining. I'm listening to myself and thinking, what the, f what kind of idiot is this guy? All right, what we need to do now, we need to uh, put the modifier on these curves too, which is rotation. Again, I don't know what W, rotation is but uh, put on the modifier it's awesome that it still remembers the copy and now this means I select both bones select all keys and now we can offset it right so we select both let's try and offset it 10 frames you see did you see that? What happened there? The magic is happening right now. Let's undo it. You can see it before. It looks a little wonky and heavy when we move it forward. It's more in sync with the rest of the body. And we will take the furthest, the, the back backbone too, and we will offset that even more from the body. Let's try and offset it even more not really working. Should we do it the other way? No. See now it's kind of getting dragged behind. Uh, not sure what's going on. This is offset 10. 
damage looks good. Let's try and offset it more. Let's try and offset the other way. That looks weird. That also looks weird. Let's offset it a lot. I think 20 looks good. Take the back one. Let's try and offset that also. Now it's just straight. It kind of counter animates. I don't like that. This is kind of where it, it's dragging a little behind. Let's just try and exaggerate this scale by... Is that the correct one? Scale by... Yes. Scale by... Yeah, that's up and down. So this one. Oops. I'm fumbling around at the minute. Scale and Y. It happens all the time. See, now I exaggerated the back bone. I think that is what we needed to get that dragging behind. Like it's, it's, uh, it's not rigid, it's kind of organic moving. Let's see from the side. That looks weird, doesn't it? Looks good here, it's good movement. It's a, it's a lot, it's, it's too much, but you get the idea, see? Kind of like a snake, where the head is moving first, then the, then the, the, the body afterwards. You see, the head is turning and then the middle body is turning and then we need more delay on this Oops. something is wrong here something is wrong what is wrong that's the tilting see that one maybe we need to exaggerate this one too to see what's going on i'm just looking at this bone now ignore the back one See, I can I just offset everything by selecting all the keys. Just move them around to get something I like. <clears throat> it has to have this offset. Again, guys, this is what takes time in animation. This should be straightforward. I don't know why I'm having so much problem with this back body. It is delayed. It is moving as I wanted. It's just too much, I think. Is it the tilting? Is it the tilting? It's kind of tilting at the same time. Hmm. But you know. I think it already looks good. This is definitely good enough for a game. Now you just adjust it a 
uh, to get the result you like. Scaling Y. See, this is better. Yeah, maybe it was just too exaggerated before. There's still, there's still a lot of movement. Just scale it down. Just scale it down. Yeah, this is better. This is closer to what I have in, in my game right now. And I think from the side it also looks good. We could animate the, the body to tilt like this also. But I don't think it's necessary. And I think you get like you get the idea uh, of how I make these animations. And this is a, a walk cycle. Again, <laughs> the, the legs is not the hardest part. The hardest part is to get the body and the offsets correctly. And you can easily do that with the cycles modifier. You just move keys around if you want to offset it. It's very simple. I think this movement looks pretty cool. Let's try and uh, eliminate the tilting of the head again now. Now that, that the rest of the body has been animated. Right, so we just go in. You just, these are the, you see down here, the keyframes. There's nothing on zero, but just ignore that. The first frame is frame 10. So we just go in, tilt the head back, counter animated. And then copy the first. What? Shift D like this. Yes, copy the keys around. I think it looks good. So yeah, there you have it guys. Spider walk cycle animation tutorial that looks awesome. The only thing is the intersection of the legs, but that is a, a whole other headache, right? You have to get the spacing of the legs right. Maybe you have to move some of the legs out so they can go under some of the legs that is up, you know. All right, guys, that was the end of part three. I hope you're still here. In the next part, we will look into fixing the problems with the legs and doing the final polish on this whole walk cycle. So stick around and see you next time.